Hi guys, hardly anyone remembers the days when the Japanese conquerors started a little revolution in the U.S. After years of sailing in giant land barges with voracious V8S of colossal volume, Americans had to seriously adjust their tastes. Tougher environmental regulations and fuel crisis partially wiped out the powerful full-size cars, compact vehicles entered the scene, including the popular Ford Mustang II. First Generation Circumstances were favorable for manufacturers from the land of the rising sun. Americans made fun of their small, almost toy cars, but in the 70s, arrogant consumers were no laughing matter. The Accord launched in 1976 as a front-wheel drive mainstream three-door hatchback. Since the early 70s, the little Ford Pinto, Chevrolet Vega, and AMC Gremlin were on the market. The Accord, with its 133-inch length and 125-inch wheelbase, joined their ranks, the underdogs of the tiny Honda Civic, which began its takeover of the new world in 1972, finally got something resembling a normal vehicle. Unlike its American rear-wheel drive rivals, the Accord didn't chase after mind-boggling displacement. There were engines up to 2.8 liters on Pinto, and even 5-liter V8 on Gremlin, but our hero with 1.6 and 1.8-liter engines with power up to 97 horsepower refused to make itself a muscle car. Mere modification with power of 68 horsepower did not deserve any stars from the sky, Acceleration to 60 miles per hour in 13.8 seconds taught patience and calmness. Nevertheless, even critics appreciated accurate handling, fuel economy, and quite comfortable interior with pleasant little things like warning indicators, which remind about passing servicing, burned up bulbs and headlights, and unlocked doors. Authoritative publications strongly recommended Honda for purchase, and ordinary citizens followed this advice. Soon the demand exceeded supply. In 1977, the 4,450mm sedan debuted. A year later, it entered the U.S. market, then came the LX model with air conditioning and rare on small imported models with power steering, then 1.8-liter 72-horsepower engine, three-speed automatic transmission and SE version with power windows and leather upholstery. Second Generation The first generation went to the U.S. from Japan, but the increase in sales with each new year forced the company to make the appropriate conclusions about the need to localize production. Assembly of the global second generation, shown in the fall of 1981, it was presented in Japan, Europe, and North America, was ceremonially launched at the plant in Marysville, Ohio. In addition to existing sites in Indonesia and Malaysia, plants opened in Thailand and New Zealand. Throughout its history, Accord grew by leaps and bounds, and acceleration began in its second evolutionary phase. The car became more perfect, refined and even sportier. The length of the hatch reached 4,210 mm. Between the axles is 2,450 mm. The basic design of the suspension is the same, with McPherson struts in front and rear. Soon the range was updated and got a 12-valve engine with a capacity of 1.8 liters, 86 horsepower. Later it was added to the 101 horsepower injector version. Towards the end of the second generation's release, 256,650 Accords were sold in 1984. Third Generation Isn't the third generation, 1985 to 1989, an alluring, juicy fruit under the sultry southern sun? Or is it all beauty in the eye of the beholder, not accidentally immortalized by the title, Car of the Year in Japan? The light, impetuous, and sleek exterior with the then-fashionable raised headlights is inspired by the Prelude sports car. The aerodynamic drag coefficient is 0.32. Like in the Ferrari California, there are also other entertaining moments. First, Honda aesthetic engineers have thrown out Struts McPherson and have made what they have not ventured before, have placed double transversal levers in front and behind, unheard of chic by the standards of the segment. Secondly, they have shaken out the engine lineup, the most capacious and advanced, 2-liter 16-valve B20A with injection system. Transmission is 5-speed manual and 4-speed automatic. Third, the company of the 4-door model and 3-door hatchback were Coupe, the first Japanese car produced in the United States and exported back to Japan, and the original Aerodeck hatchback, or the so-called 3-door sport utility vehicle, with the same 2,600mm wheelbase as its counterparts. The suspension of the Aerodeck is similarly sophisticated, the steering is variable, the Japanese version 2C has an anti-lock braking system as standard, inhabitants of the islands, strangely enough, did not understand Aerodeck, but Britons liked functional style. Fourth, this Accord, like the previous one, had a prestigious JDM clone vigor. It carried out an honorable role of a flagship until the legend was built. Fourth generation. U.S. sales climbed upward like a mountain climber, climbing to the summit of Everest in spite of fatigue and storms. In 1988, they reached a record 362,663 copies. The fourth generation, 1989 to 1993, crossed the 400,000 mark and was slightly less popular than the hot dogs. Dimensions increased noticeably. 
The sedan and coupe were up to 4,704 millimeters long, and the classic five-door station wagon, which took the place of the three-door and hatchback, up to 4,745 millimeters. Wheelbase is 2,720 millimeters. The new F-Series engine lineup was led by a 2.2-liter 16-valve engine, 125 horsepower. The modified suspension made driving on twisty roads an even more exciting experience. In 1991, the SE, 140 horsepower, variant was presented to the judgment of demanding consumers with a non-alternative automatic transmission, standard disc brakes, ABS and leather interior. By the way, all accord with automatic transmission were equipped with an electronically controlled rear engine mount, which reduces low frequency noise and vibration. The Japanese got a more compact Honda and its Ascot cousin of the same dimensions, in the top with a fully controlled chassis, and with its own exterior. In turn, the Honda Vigor moved to its own platform with front-wheel drive, longitudinal layout, and five-cylinder units. Fifth Generation The fifth iteration, 1993 to 1997, was thematically divided by the Honda people, who were hungry for experiments and at the same time rationally thinking. The USA, the country of the rising sun and other regional markets were occupied by a sedan, a coupe, and a station wagon. Japanese road samurais were happy with charged sir, the engine is 2.2 liter H22A, 193 horsepower at 6,800 RPM. And yes, we almost forgot, the model received to its money box another award, Car of the Year in Japan. For the Europeans, the British Swindon cooked a special dish, exclusively four-door on the chassis of the last generation, with an individual design and engine palette. For example, it was powered by a 2.3 liter H23A3, 162 horsepower, and a 2-liter Rover turbo diesel, not available from the worldwide Honda. Sixth generation, the sixth Accord, 1997 to 2002, is perfect. The regional division is still there, and this time the market tie-up is even stronger. JDM sedans still cause heart palpitations just by their appearance. Of particular interest to drivers with gasoline in their blood, who love not only to hit the gas pedal in a straight line, but also know a lot about good handling and know how to get a lot of pleasure out of it, is a sporty Euro R. The H22A is a canonical old-school Honda creation. It develops 220 horsepower at 7,200 RPM, is combined with a 5-speed manual gearbox, and sports suspension. There was nothing like it on the American menu, although the four-door Accord and the spectacular coupe with taillights, and a law the NSX mid-engine supercar matched new world tastes. Proof of this is sales of consistently over 400,000 units a year. Overseas cars are larger than Japanese ones. The base of the sedan and coupe are 2,715 mm and 2,670 mm, and the length is up to 4,811 mm and 4,745 mm, respectively. Evil, high-powered atmospheric engines were not offered. In the U.S., they always liked the volume and traction, so the expensive versions were given a 3-liter V6. Produced at the plant in Swindon, England, the Euroversion, sedan and liftback, is more compact. Four-door achieves a length of 4,595 mm. Enthusiasts of uninflated torsion engines of yesteryear still remember the hot modification type R. In terms of stuffing, 2.2-liter red-headed H22A7, 212 horsepower, 5-speed manual gearbox and limited slip differential. It is close to internal Japanese Euro R. 7th generation. In the 7th generation, 2002 to 2008, the tradition continued. Witnesses of the cult of VTEC and fans of a racing character turned to the almighty kingdom of JDM, where there was Euro R appearance, as in European Honda, is deceptive. Behind familiar design hides emotional 2-liter K20A, 220 horsepower at 8,000 RPM, paired with a 6-speed manual gearbox, but even without impudent hooligan this accord succeeded. It has touched soul strings even of indifferent people and won the title, Car of the Year in, already the third in the history of the model. In the States, the Euroasian body was sold under the name Acura TSX, American Accord, in Japan. Honda Inspire, on its background, looked like overgrown donuts. The length of the sedan is up to 4,854 mm, the coupe, up to 4,770 mm. For comparison, the wagon, for the old world, is shorter than the latter by 20 mm, and the four door, by as much as 105 mm. Appeared Hybrid tried to change consumers' opinion about petroelectric products with economical and thus brisk power plant, sandwich of 3-liter V6, electric motor and 5-speed automatic transmission accelerates Honda up to 60 miles per hour in 6-5 seconds. As for sales, the 7th didn't stamp records like its predecessor, but it tried not to lower the bar. The big score was in 2003, 397,750 units, and the worst result was in 2006, 354,441 units. Modern Generations 
U.S. speck of the eighth accord sounded even louder. The dimensions of the sedan is only a little short of the five-meter limit, and the range was added to the 3.5-liter V6 with a system of switching off two or three cylinders at low loads VCM. The European and Japanese versions have also increased in size. With the arrival of the ninth generation, the former diversity was gone for reasons of economy. A single sedan was launched in the world markets. The double wishbone suspension at the front has been replaced by McPherson struts. The body is stiffer. The level of comfort is higher, including thanks to the system of active noise reduction and additional safety assistance. Engines are four-cylinder and V6 with a capacity from 2 to 3.5 liters. The tenth generation turned out to be in a sense fateful and trendy. The length of the coupe-like body is a little less than 5 meters, and under the hood are 4 cylinders, 1.5 and 2 liters, and a supercharger. Its successor is literally German Austerity, a refined interior and a hybrid system with an atmospheric 2-liter engine at the top of the lineup. Which Accord is your favorite? Do you agree that after the 7th generation, it's not the same anymore? Share your opinions in the comments.